Welcome to the Star Trek special. The lines were the most difficult part of the oh. job because uh, I would work 14, 15 to 20 hours a day on the show and then I'd have to go home at night and learn my lines for the next day. It's incredible. And because they were so difficult, uh, you know, as an actor, usually you don't like to learn your lines ahead of time yeah. because you like them to be natural and mm -hmm. uh, occurring as if it was the first time you said it. But because of this kind of dialogue, I had to be word perfect and I couldn't pause. You know, Data can't say, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and look for like the next thinking, word. Yeah. yeah, and so it had to flow very smoothly. So I had to have it perfectly memorized by the time I got to work in the morning. Ah, uh, data line. Uh, <laughs> y you know, in truth, we had so much dialogue. We did 178 episodes of the show, and uh, the only way... Uh, was basically to erase everything. As yeah. soon as they said right. that's a print, I erased it. Right. And so I, I've erased 178 hours, so I can't even remember what Data said. Well, because uh, there's been a, a an evolution to the character mm -hmm. uh, from the very beginning. Right. In, the, in the first season, he was very very blank. Yeah. And uh, but because he he lives with humans, mm -hmm. and because he's a learning computer, he picks up a little bit more every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's always wanted to be human. I know. Yeah. And uh, his creator, Dr. Noonien Sung, so, yeah, yeah, who I also play. I know. I uh, know. He. Uh, he made a chip, an emotion chip, and uh, in the movie, finally, Data uh, is, is realizes he just has to understand what humor is, and uh, so he, he decides it's time to put the chip in his head. But it he did, but uh, in, there was an episode in the last season where uh, he came together with his brother again, and there was a, a final confrontation, and Data... Uh, prevailed and so uh, they took the chip mm -hmm. and uh, they put it away they at the end mm -hmm. okay. and in the film he decides it's time to, to try it. But no I really don't have a chance. I mean I, mean, I said I really didn't want to do that uh, but they'd already written the script and uh -huh. we had four days between the end of the series and the beginning of the movie so there was no time to rewrite. Okay, so I said, true. well, all right. Well, uh, we had a lot of rehearsal before we shot the scene. Uh -huh. And so I did all my laughing in the rehearsal. So by, okay. the time, <laughs> by the time we actually shot the scene, it wasn't funny to me anymore. So mm -hmm. I was able to keep a straight face. Okay. Well, uh, in my own life, uh, I show emotion, so okay. it's not that difficult. <laughs> well, I, I can only... It's, right. it's true. It, there's a very fine line, I yeah. think, because they're not real... Um, it's not emotion that happens here. Okay. It's emotions that here. happen right. here, you know, uh -huh. so... Uh, and in this particular movie, the emotions are, are bigger than they would ordinarily be mm -hmm. because, because they're so new to data. Uh, he's like a child with exactly. emotion. Right now, because right. he's kind of being silly. Right, he's out of control. <laughs> totally. Uh, hopefully, if we do another movie, uh, he's a little more controlled with it. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I can only hope. Well, only because... Uh, in the original, the very first episode of the series, uh, Riker uh, calls Data Pinocchio, right. mm -hmm. and um, and and we we looked at it as a as a point of departure. Actually, mm -hmm. there is a similarity. Uh, Pinocchio wanted to be a real boy. That's true. And uh, I think that's the similarity. Yeah. Um. Sure. It, it, I, I started on the New York stage, and oh. uh, I did a few musicals on Broadway. Oh. And uh, so doing the album was just an extension of what I had already been doing. 
uh, I was in a, a musical called Sunday in the Park with George, a uh, Stephen Sondheim musical about the painter Surratt. Oh. And uh, did a musical, um, Three Musketeers. Um, wow. And Who did he play? Which character? I played uh, Aramis, uh, one of the Musketeers. Yeah, right. Yeah. And um, did a musical of, uh, of uh, Huckleberry Finn oh. uh, called Big River. <laughs> and uh, I was the Duke in Big mm. River. Well, uh, I didn't do musicals exclusively. I did maybe 25 plays in New York, wow. and uh, oh, four of them were musicals. I did oh. um, Little Shop of Horrors. Play. I played Seymour. Well, I have a computer, and uh, I know how to turn it on and turn it <laughs> off, and that's all. Why Well, I thought I should, you know, because uh, I'm data. Games? I, you know, I, I really don't. Uh, I, I don't play computer games at all. No. Okay. That's right, except if I had children and they were playing computer games, I wouldn't play with them because I'd know they would be so much better than me. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know what? I uh, I was blessed with uh, good genetics as far I guess as my so. skin was concerned. And um, uh, but Paramount Pictures, to their credit, uh, gave me a facial every two weeks wow. to to take all of the makeup out of my skin. Yes, but, yeah. you really have to pull it out. Yeah, truly. Uh, this was not fun, by the way. I didn't enjoy these face facials. They were not uh, yeah. they were not pampering facials. They were very <laughs> very uh, clinical and uh, literally sucked all of this stuff out of my skin.